Ever since the Thunderbird achieved its unique position as the personal luxury car, other automakers have looked with longing at its rich market. Through the years, Thunderbird has set the pace. Thunderbird has become the symbol of the ultimate in fun-loving, spirited, personal luxury. And Thunderbird luxury and performance have been copied. Now it's the Thunderbird idea. However, this year, two manufacturers are trying to match the Thunderbird, frankly aiming at your Thunderbird market. They are Buick with its Riviera, and to a lesser extent, Studebaker with its Avanti. Yes, they're entering your Thunderbird market, and it's going to take positive, aggressive selling on your part to keep them in line. Yes, for the first time, your Thunderbird has competition. Sure, you've got the great car, the unique car, the finest in America. It's proved itself. It's accepted. Still, the Riviera is new. Therefore, almost every shopper in the Thunderbird market is going to want to take a look for himself at this new Riviera. And many of them, before they come in to see you, may want to take a look at the new Avanti, too, to see how it stacks up. So when a prospect comes into your showroom and brings up the Riviera or Avanti, you've got to know what he's talking about. First, let's take a look at the Riviera. Those lights which protrude from the fenders are parking lights, turn signals, and cornering lights. But the distance they extend forward predicts high mortality for them in parking lots. In an effort to protect them, they had to use a two-piece bumper which compares poorly with Thunderbird's clean, solidly engineered one-piece bumper. From the side, Riviera's profile is reminiscent of several other cars, a compromise of the new foreign fastback trend found on so many other mates and the Thunderbird's own crisp styling. Actually, there's also a great similarity to the 1963 Chrysler styling. And look at the limited glass area of the Riviera's rear window. Actually, your Thunderbird offers nearly 50% more glass area for clearer, safer rear vision. So there you have the exterior of Buick's new Riviera hardtop. Let's look at it from the standpoint of size and weight. Riviera is a slightly larger car, four inches longer in wheelbase, three inches longer overall, half an inch wider, and about an inch and a half higher. These few inches or fractions give it no advantages. Actually, Thunderbird's shorter length makes it more maneuverable. And your Thunderbird hardtop is almost 170 pounds heavier. In addition, there's more rubber on the ground for finer traction and greater response. But a car is built to drive in. Let's see how the Riviera matches your Thunderbird's ease of entrance. You'll notice, as you open the door, it doesn't seem to swing all the way open. You're right. Your Thunderbird door, because of offset hinges, opens a full five inches more for easier access and is one and three quarter inches wider and half an inch higher. The Riviera makes much of its seven position tilt wheel option. Yet even in its highest position, you have less than seven inches between wheel and seat. Compare this with the convenience and ease of entering your Thunderbird with the swing away wheel, a distinct advantage any time. Once inside, your Thunderbird enjoys a slight advantage, but a surprising one when you consider Riviera's longer wheelbase. And your Thunderbird is thoughtful of its backseat passengers too. The wider door and greater opening gives more room to enter, and the front seat back folds all the way forward for even easier entrance. Compare this with the Riviera's narrower doorway, made even narrower by the old-fashioned conventional three-quarter fold of the front seat back. Once inside the Riviera, the back seat passengers have adequate room for two, but no more. The space between the seats is too deeply recessed for comfort. Compare this with your Thunderbird, with room if required for a third passenger on the well-padded support between. And more important, 
even with Riviera's larger overall dimensions, Thunderbird enjoys comparable rear leg, head, and shoulder room. The Riviera seats are over plump, with thick, unsupported overhanging lips and straight chair-type backs. Now notice the full support and quality construction of your Thunderbird seat, its form-fitting back. Again, see how beautifully finished it is throughout. As much a must in a personal luxury car as bucket seats is the personal console. Riviera's contains only the transmission control and individual smoking sets for front and back seat passengers. The little lidded glove box is too far back to reach easily and is too small for even standard road maps and cannot be locked. On the other hand, Thunderbirds is a model of simplicity and utility. It's beautifully padded for safety and color coordinated to harmonize with interior upholstery. Clean and uncluttered, it contains only a smoking set, power window controls, and a long, lighted map compartment with push-button lid and lock. The same thoughtful planning makes Thunderbird's instrument panel nicely arranged for quick inspection, with controls well distributed for convenient operation without looking. On the other hand, Riviera's eight controls at the right of the wheel look too much alike for clear selection, are too close together for easy touch operation. Controls for power windows, an optional feature on both cars, are placed on the driver's armrest in the Riviera, are operable all the time, fair game for curious children playing in the car. Thunderbirds are, as you know, centrally located on the console, convenient for both driver and front seat passenger, and operate only when the ignition key is on. But let's talk about the windows themselves. Thunderbird uses more glass, offers better vision, both front and rear, in keeping with its luxury standards. And each window is carefully designed for strength and utility. Take Thunderbird's side windows. They are handsomely supported with heavy chromed metal frames, reflect the quality construction one expects in a personal luxury car. Compare this with Riviera's. No frame at all, just naked glass, unprotected, unsupported. A lot less likely to hold up, particularly when people slam the door from the top, as they usually do. Now, to sum up. You've seen the interior of these two cars. In no way do Riviera's appointments compare with your Thunderbird's luxury and thoughtful conveniences which extend to every corner of the car, even to the trunk. Both cars have a little over 20 cubic feet of useful trunk capacity, but your Thunderbird space is uncluttered, fully lined, with the rubber weather strip on the lid where it is not vulnerable to damage. Compare this with the only partially lined Riviera trunk. Here, the center-mounted tire seriously limits the luggage capacity. And the rubber insulating strip is on the lower lip where it can be damaged during loading. A little thing in itself, but characteristic. Truly, it's always been thoughtful details that have established the overall luxury reputation of Thunderbird. But now, let's look at the powertrains to see how Riviera stacks up. Automatic transmissions are standard on both cars, and the performance of Thunderbird's 390 cubic inch, 300 horsepower engine compares favorably with the Riviera's 401 cubic inch, 325 horsepower engine. For more carefree driving, your Thunderbird calls for maintenance only twice a year or every 6,000 miles. On the other hand, the average Riviera owner is advised by Buick to change oil and oil filter at least every two months. And when it comes to major chassis lubrication, your Thunderbird owner drives for 100,000 miles or three years without thinking about it. Meanwhile, Buick recommends that the Riviera be lubricated at intervals of 6,000 miles or six months. To top it all, the 1963 Thunderbird does not require a 1,000-mile inspection or oil change. Now, 
How does this new Buick contender try to match your Thunderbird in price? Riviera wants to present a price advantage, so it leaves out items in its suggested basic price package, and it comes up with an apparent $112 advantage. However, to be comparable, we must add to Riviera's basic price extra charges for the optional movable steering wheel, AM radio, and the remote control outside mirror, all of them included in Thunderbird's basic price. Add these pluses, and your comparable Riviera price becomes $4,478.21, a price advantage for Thunderbird of $33.18. So your prospect discovers that Thunderbird is not only the best car, but the top value as well. And when you consider Thunderbird's established high resale value, low maintenance, thoughtful convenience, and rich luxury, it's easy to see Buick with its Riviera is no match for your Thunderbird. Now, what about the other contender for your T-Bird market, Studebaker's Avanti? Even before a prospect goes in to see the Avanti, he has probably heard that it's in the Thunderbird price class. You'll note that the profile is modern, sculptured, with a distinct European flavor, like a